You do realize that we've dealt with a witch, a clown, a kissing wench, and a fairy. Don't I know it. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who want to stand out, even though you really just look insane. Rule number two. You can show off your personality without looking crazy. This is what every Southern lady wears to host holiday parties. It's called hostess pajamas. <laughs> Wait, somebody told you that every Southern woman needs one of these? Every Southern woman now masquerades as, pajamas. as Wonder Woman <laughs> in her spare time. That does scream special occasion. It, it screams, I'm crazy! You know, it looks like the entire decade of the 80s threw up all over you. <laughs> Then I like through it. Oh. oh! How many times have we thrown out costumes? If you have worn it to a Halloween party yeah. or any kind of theme party, it should not be in your day-to-day -day wardrobe. Period. End of story. That's right. The rule of thumb is that people should notice you, not just your outfit. Your outfit should support the whole look of the woman. Now, there's a lady who actually wears her costumes as a kissing wench out in public when she's not working. Please, fashion nights, bring on the winch. There she is. Oh, wow. Check out that outfit. Now, this was something we didn't see every day. When did the tail thing start? Probably eight years ago. It's my, like, big thing to stand out. But you're going to command attention whether you have a tail or not. Denise was serving up a whole lot of crazy with a different costume for every occasion. They're sailor. Well, I wore that when I went on my cruise. Why do you have to dress up like a sailor? What else are you supposed to dress up as? A passenger. Yes, on a, on a cruise. cruise. That oh, was God. my July 4th outfit. This makes like, me ashamed to be an American. I was going to wear that to a sushi restaurant. Where else would you wear them? The zoo. You have lots of things to wear to a theme party, <laughs> but you have nothing to wear in life. But the costumes were often masking deeper insecurities. Do you realize that this is this is a costume, right? I well, mean, it's part it, of who I am. It's not just costume wear. The idea of you allowing people to see you in a light that makes you more approachable may, in fact, help you in your career. I can see the point, but I can't give up the clothes. You can't tell us that when you are going to the supermarket, going to the post office, people aren't reacting in a very specific way to this. You think you're making them happy, right? I do. Honestly, I think that they look at me and they smile and I smile back and I think I made somebody's day. But Cuckoo flew to a whole other level with Sunny and her fairy wings. I don't think these things look costumey to me. You have a fairy costume that you bought at a costume store, like a Halloween sale thing, and you wear it not on Halloween. Oh, wow, that seems weird. <laughs> I mean, you look like a kite. What? Sunny had a tough time saying goodbye to the costumes. This is such a part of me, and I'm, if we're going to do it, we should just do it and <laughs> get it out of the way. This is just stuff. This isn't you. This fairy may have given up her wings, but she finally learned to fly. Sunny, you look oh like... Oh, my God. I'm sorry. So hot. So French. Sunny. Oh, my God. You look fabulous. Come, Come here. here. Do you feel sparkly enough in this? I feel amazing in this. I look very womanly and adulty, but not over the top. And I don't think I would blend in with just anybody else. I still feel like an individual.